This video is sponsored by Mistplay. Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today we are testing a super weird fragrance combo. Is it gonna be delightful? Is it gonna be nasty? Why would you pair watermelon and lavender together? Like that's just so weird. But curiosity got the best of me because Nature's Garden released this fragrance and I thought, why? Like I have to know how that smells. So we're gonna soap with it today and I'll give you my honest thoughts and why I included it as a part of this month's collection. Okay, let's make this super weird fragrance soil combo soap that actually works. I still am just, I do not understand why this fragrance smells as good as it does. It sounds like it would be the strangest fragrance oil ever, but it's not. Let's blend it up. It's all rainy and delightful outside today. It's like a cool spring rain though. My roses are absolutely loving it. Let's start with our purple colorants first. We're gonna add a little bit of I Dream in purple. This is a lovely sort of warm lavender color. And then we're gonna mix a little bit of Pow Pow Purple with I Dream in purple into this one. So this is gonna make a darker version of our first color. And then because because I've never used this fragrance before, I'm gonna go ahead and mix in our color before we add our fragrance oil. Wow, those are literally exactly what I wanted. I love it when everything goes my way. And here you go, this is the fragrance oil we're adding. I'll leave a link to it down below. I do expect a paranormal color morph on this soap. It won't catch me by surprise. And then we're gonna watch for separation, acceleration, etc., etc. Well, it, do it doesn't look like it's morphing too bad. There's a little bit of a yellow tint to it, but again, I fully expect that to disappear by tomorrow. No immediate distress signals. Blending in so pretty. I would recommend hand mixing this. It doesn't feel like it's like super accelerating or anything, but it is thickening the soap, not thinning it out. Everything is blended now. No extra fragrance sitting on the top. So we can now pour this into our mold. And we're gonna pour just like we would our traditional watermelon soap recipe, except we're doing purple on the bottom instead of green. So like I said, you can see it is thickening, but if you mix by hand, you really shouldn't have any problems. And there's still plenty of time for you to do a layered swirl. You probably can't do anything intricate or complicated, but for my purposes, it's gonna be just fine. You can also work a little bit cooler. I was working a little warmer today. And I'm gonna shoot for as many any passes as I can get. That is what's gonna make the design on the bottom look really, really good. I am leaving a little bit in the bucket so that we can potentially add it to the top. We'll see once I pour in the next color if that's gonna be something I wanna do. And honestly, I thought I was gonna texture this layer, but now I don't want to. <laughs> Do you need some extra help covering your daily coffee, movie and streaming subscriptions, craft supplies? Well, that's where today's sponsor comes in. This video is sponsored by Misplay. Misplay lets you earn rewards simply by playing games on your phone. And the best part is you get rewarded just for playing. You can get gift cards from Amazon, Walmart, Visa, and more. Over a hundred million in gift cards has already been redeemed. I actually have a lot of different games that I have discovered through Mistplay, including Get Color and Bubble Shooter Rainbow. I do enjoy playing a mobile game about 30 minutes before bed just to help me wind down. And those two are so pretty and relaxing. Another one that I just really love, I'm so sorry, I am on like the third map because I love this game so much. I literally play it every day is Cooking Diary. You make little food and you give it to the customers and then you get to upgrade your little restaurants and put decorations in there. It's so cute and fun. And and then I get points for playing those games and redeeming those points is super easy. So if you're ready to join in the fun, head on over to misplay.com slash soap or click the link in the description to download for free. If you sign up today, you'll get 200 points right off the bat and then you can use my special code in the app and get another 100 points. You can see the description for full details. Don't forget to use my code. It is a great head start to getting those rewards. So let's get gaming with Misplay again 
again, the link is misplay.com slash soap. Thank you so much to Misplay for sponsoring today's video. For the second layer, we're going to do a custom blend of color. It is very, very pigmented. I'm actually gonna scoop up a little bit of the soap and kind of mix it up just to get all that extra color out. We're gonna add some poppy seeds since this is a watermelon soap and blend it all up. Ah, this is so pretty. Pour in our fragrance oil and our kaolin clay. Then I'm gonna mix this in by hand. It could be that I need to use my stick blender because this is a really big bucket, but I'm gonna do my best. Also making sure I'm scraping the edges. Oh, this is literally so gorgeous. Okay, I mixed by hand until I can feel the soap starting to tug a little bit. This just means that it's starting to thicken and it's ready to pour. And I believe my first layer is already completely hard, which is awesome. This is going to be a beautiful pour. Start in the corner and just let it snake all the way across. I've got to find a different word. Uh, just smooth its way all the way across. <laughs> all right, fill us all in here. Wow. Scrapey, scrapey out my big containy, which I'm so happy to say I did mix in all the color. There are no uncolored spots in this batch. Go. Gorgeous. I think my purples are still thin enough to place on top. Maybe. I don't know. They're kind of thick. All right, let's start texturing the top of this soap. Gonna pull to the middle one side, pull to the middle on the other, and then I'll texture down the middle. Maybe, maybe it'll look better if I don't do that. We'll see. This has been the most fun. This has been so relaxing for me. And I think with poppy seeds on top, it's gonna look even better. Okay, I'm trying to move these purples to the middle because I definitely put them off center. Okay, I think that looks good. And then for the middle, I think I'm just gonna swirl a little like this so it still has a lot of texture, but it's not as spiny. It'll also let me move some of those purples around just a little bit. Yeah, just a little swirl. That looks so good. Gorgeous. Ah, it's so pretty. I cannot wait to see what this looks like when the purples turn colors tomorrow. Okay, let's put some poppy seeds along the red portion and then maybe lavender buds would look good down the side or down the middle. I'm gonna spritz the top real quick. It may still ash, but you know, nice to prevent where you can. <laughs> Put some lavender just down the middle. Oh wait, I really like that. It really enhances the purple. It also kind of looks like a drink, like when they put lavender on the rim of a glass with like sugar and stuff. I am adding more than I want, of course, because a lot of this will fall off tomorrow. And then I'll take the back of, I don't know, maybe my little uh, paint tool and just tap them in ever so lightly. I think I'm gonna call this watermelon lavender lavender spritzer or maybe lavender watermelon spritzer. I don't know, whichever one looks better with the, uh, I don't know, whichever word looks better in the front. <laughs> Let's tap, tap, tap. Someone asked me, they were like, I thought you said don't put botanicals in soap. The answer is that is what I said and I mean it. Don't put it in the soap. If you wanna put them on top of cold process, that's not gonna cause you any problems. It's putting it in cold process and putting it in melt and pour that makes botanicals just look yucky over time. So there's some further clarification about botanicals on soap. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna put a lid on this. Maybe that'll help with the ashing, but can you, I mean, please look at that. Yum! I cannot wait to cut this tomorrow. Now I know somebody doubted me with these color choices. I can feel it in my bones. They were like, girl, what are you doing? That's the ugliest purple I've ever seen. This is not gonna work. Just trust the process because look at the purple the next day. It actually looks like purple. It doesn't look like that horrible grayish color it was yesterday, okay? <laughs> I'm lining it up with my cutter. Gonna press down gently. 
take one of these bars out. And this is what our watermelon lavender looks like the next day. Tell me that isn't so gorgeous. I love the addition on top. I love the way it's been textured. Like all these lovely little botanicals, just, ugh. This may possibly be my favorite one of the entire month. I mean, look at it. It looks like you could eat it. Smells incredible the next day. So it smelled good out of the bottle, but the next day after I've cut it and it's saponified, the fragrance like blends into this beautiful smell and you can definitely smell both watermelon and lavender and it works. Ugh, it works hard. <laughs> If you've bought soap for me before and you're gonna buy soap this month and you're on the fence about this one, let me just give you a personal recommendation because it, it, it really is good. It's weird, it's super weird, but it works. What are some other weird fragrance combos you think I should try? Nature's Garden mixed this one up so I didn't have to mix it up, but I could mix some for a video. Maybe I could do like four in a video, like weird fragrance combos and do they work out? Leave your combos down below and maybe I'll pick yours for video soon. I hope you all have an absolutely royal day today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It actually, I mean, it's just such a good, good soap. It's not my favorite of the month because that one is coming a bit later, but it is a close runner up. Be sure you do something fun for yourself today. I am actually going to be off of the internet almost all of today. I will post the Instagram announcement for this video, but it is my son Will's fifth birthday. Can y'all believe it? I know I'm gonna say that and there's gonna be people who are like, oh my gosh, I was watching you before he and Lily were even born. Yeah, uh-huh. So Will's turning five and Lily is six turning seven. <laughs> so I'm going to be spending almost all of my time with him today. He wanted a firefighter themed birthday party. So that's what we're doing. And maybe I'll share a few little pics over on my personal Instagram. You can go follow me over there. Um, and y'all have an amazing day. I can't wait to see you. I'm traveling this week. I will have so many updates to share on so many good things soon. Yeah, y'all just have an amazing day. I will see y'all all so soon. Bye for now. Me